morning, everybody. Welcome back to Uncut Alley. My name is Ali A. What? <laughs> okay, that's Crit. Hi, I'm Crit. Can we do the one where we don't have a trophy yet? Sure. Everyone, we're moved over a lot. Yeah. On the couch. Um, Coco's right here, which is where I usually sit. So I'm sitting where Chris usually sits, and Chris is. We're, we have a very long couch, and Chris is sitting like one uh, cushion over. Yeah. But but it looks good. What, do the Triforce mm -hmm. again? We did this oh. one like a few days ago. You're right. But it's fun. <laughs> um, we're playing Mario Kart again. I'm Black Yosh, Chris, I'm King, King Boo. Boo. I'm very tired again. <laughs> And I will be until Coco leaves. What's going on? Coco's here. <laughs> um, anytime I'm boarding a dog, I'm not the type of person. I've tried my, my damnedest to be a 7 a.m. person who goes to bed. I can't do it. I'm not built for it. Don't let people force you into things. All these entrepreneurs, you have to wake up at 6 a.m. And it's like, why? I could get all the shit done that you do at like 1 in the morning. While I'm up. Well, it's nice. I don't. <laughs> you could. <laughs> could. Well, yeah, everyone has their own, like, schedules. Yeah. You know? And, like, if you're really productive at late at night, like, then do you. And I am. It just happens to be that I can't sing at night because it'd be loud and we have neighbors. Yeah, yeah, house. Yeah. The, that's, <laughs> that's the solution. That's the solution to this. Let's eat. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's... Feast by Blood Nymph is her username. It's it's they're on TikTok. I've been obsessed with the song for a bit, and I'm gonna make a TikTok on it. I, Fuck. Made, I made a little dance on it in my brain. I'm so excited to see it. Yeah, I, I was taking a nap as I do once Chris gets home, just in case she needs anything. Chris is there, so I don't have to deal with anything. I'm doing awfully. I thought I was doing so well. I was. And then too. I checked what place I'm in. Oh, no. I'm not doing well. Bad time to go in first. Yeah, that sucked. Let's just stay in second. Jesus, stop making me go this way. Anyway, yeah, you told me to, the dance moves. Yeah, I was napping, and I didn't want to forget it just in case I forgot it post-nap. So I, I gave Chris notes cause, so I didn't have to open my eyes on like what... Dan the dance moves are. I hope they make sense. No, they do. I can recite it still anyway. So, That's fucking bats, Jesus. Um, how's everybody doing? Go check that song out. I'll leave the Spotify link in the bio. It's like a two-minute song. It's a TikTok song, you know. So, you know, it, it's 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 mainly just like known for the beat. I like. Oh my god, I'm so I like pissed. it though. I threw a red shell and he had like a banana on his back, so he dodged it. Oh, that sucks. I'm in se seventh, so <laughs> you can shut up. Um, did I say what it's called? It's called Feast by Blood Nymph. <laughs> Feast. She's she's so beautiful. Or they, I don't know their pronouns. They are so beautiful. And you're so beautiful as well. Coco is sleeping. Still? I, yeah, she's asleep. Oh. Did I finish what I was saying about this? Whenever I board a dog, like, I am not good at getting up on whatever times that these dogs are getting up. Like, they have rich parents who, like, do rich people schedules. <laughs> I'm not. Rich people schedules. I, I, love it. I am so tired. I'm not good at getting up early. I'm not good at going to bed early either. Um just not for me and this that's why coco is going to be the last dog i'm boarding because um no offense to dogs but uh in in my job i've realized i am much more of a cat person and i miss not having my household completely to myself and i miss the freedom that comes with not being a dog owner or boarder you know yeah um chris and i are still in a very uh not selfish place but a very self-centered place where we're not ready for children and that's why like this was a non-committal way to do to have pets with your children however it oh my god what? no no i 
got squished! Anyway. Oh. Um. However, it became more about money, goddammit, for me. <laughs> than it did about the passion. And once... I feel like once your career becomes more for money than the passion, you start doing things in the passion that you wouldn't have done. Mm -hmm. And I didn't want to board, but my first drop-in visit client asked me to do it. And I liked it because I was like, oh, I can just do whatever I want and like have a pup for a few days. But it's a lot of work having a dog in your house for so long. And I just, I can't take it anymore. <laughs> I've become old. I get over things very quickly. And that's just who I am. Like, I, I hate doing things I don't want to do. So I will just straight up stop once I, want, I don't want to do it. And I love that about myself and I hate it about myself. <laughs> like, I quit law school. I didn't have to. But I love that I did that for myself. And me I didn't too. push myself to wait a year like some people had advised me. Or, you know, just push myself to get through it. I'm proud of myself for not. That being said, I could have. Oh yeah, but that's just not who I am. I once I'm over something, I'm over it. I don't want to do it anymore, and then I get jaded about it. That's why I, if I don't quit something, I know that I'm just being my lazy self, and I'm just like, oh, I don't want to get up. Like Uncut Alley. Yeah, like Uncut Alley. I've had moments where I was like, uh, but then I just I couldn't quit it, and I loved it when I was doing it. There's certain things that I love the idea of it more than. I, no, I dislike the idea of it, but then once I do it, I am chilling, you know? Mm hmm And that... This has kind of become that some days. Why would you make me go that way? That's just fucking rude. It made you go the shortcut way? Yes, but I had no momentum. <laughs> so I just fell. Oh my god. Anyway. Is that clear? Like, I just... I'm... I'm over it. So I finished this out because Coco's a sweetheart, and also... Yeah, Coco's please, the best. Please, please, please. <gasps> that sucks. <laughs> oh my god, that sucks. But I don't really want to board any more dogs. There are, like, a few past clients that I would board again. Only one. <laughs> and it's Jill, just because mm -hmm. she's deaf. I also realized, in having dogs here that I am very sensitive to loud sounds. Yeah. So every time the dogs bark, I have like a mini panic attack. I cannot physically handle it. I get very scared and I get very like agitated and it's just not good for me at all. I'm also exhausted. It all started in college, didn't it? Yeah, no, I don't know when. I feel like that's what like fucked you up real bad. No, that made me scared of making loud sounds. Oh, but not right. You're right. You're right. Our one of our college dorms, the person on the other side of the wall would fucking bang like insanely loud. Yeah. Just if, for us watching TV. Yeah, we were watching TV, and the TV was against the wall, and he just could not handle it. And it's like, what are you doing every night that you need to bang on this wall? That was fucked, man. Here's my thing. If you're gonna fuck... He also once complained. And the RA was very confused when he came by and was like, We got a noise complaint, but... There's absolutely no noise coming out of your apartment. And then Chris was like, Yeah, the guy across the, the room just fucking hates us. But... What was the point of this? But I'm... I, I've slowly gotten over, like... My, I can't make any sounds. I still have anxiety about it now. Just because we got um, a noise complaint for a dog barking, which pisses me off because the dog across the way is like insane. And we got a noise complaint for like the one hour that I was gone while a dog was here, but that's, that's a whole other thing. So now like that makes me nervous when we have dogs, which doesn't help with dog warning either. Um, but I don't know where I was going. No, 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 no. I'm so pissed. 
I hit you with that red shell too. Oh no, Sorry. really? Ooh. Oh. Hey, at least you, we got a silver. Yeah, I'm so happy. Have I finished any of my stories that I've been telling? I think I feel so. Like I've gone off on like 20 tangents. I think you have. <laughs> and I know this isn't like <clears throat> the most exciting commentary. I'm just complaining about life and who I am. That's great. I love it. But That's... maybe you'll relate. <laughs> Oh, fucking baby. You're so far Days. from your mic. Sorry. Sorry. I was, I, was, I was chilling out. Vibing. I don't know. That's a really pretty cup. I like it. Me well, too. the story is, I don't feel like you have to stay doing what you're doing. Obviously, circumstances are circumstances. But if you don't enjoy it anymore, don't don't do it and when when your passion becomes solely for money there's the risk that you're going to start losing that passion and you're going to do things you wouldn't do don't compromise yourself for anything at all whatever that means to you who you are hmm. you're so inspiration <laughs> I'm like I'm confident in how <laughs> Chris is like, that's my baby. <laughs> that's my baby. But it, it's true. I, I'm proud of myself for always sticking to my guns. Yeah. I'm proud of you too. And even if it seems like I'm flaky, like I always make sure that things are resolved. And if I back out of something, it's something I can back out of. Mm -hmm. like I don't feel like people are like frazzled. And if they are, like sometimes it just happens. But for the most part, I try and, like, finish something or make it in a place where, like, it's fine. Or at the very least, like, I'm at my rope's end and I'm not fucking doing it anymore. <laughs> but every situation is different. Like, I, I was cool taking Coco as my last boarding dog. But, um, like, one of my previous clients was like, asking for a doggy daycare. And I was like, no, I'm not doing that anymore. Granted, this was after I made the decision and after I already had Coco booked so i'm proud of myself always stick to yourself don't compromise yourself be proud of yourself and don't be afraid of what other people are gonna say and asterisk don't be afraid of how it affects people and then that asterisk obviously like do your best to mitigate damn it like do some damage control as much as you can but at the end of the day, do not compromise yourself. Real talk. Real talk. Yeah, same as episode, real talk. <laughs> it's like you talked the whole episode. Which I is did. Great. I did. Sometimes when I'm tired, I don't realize that I'm talking. Yeah. I just kept barreling through. If I didn't finish any of my thoughts, please let me know in the comments. I would be happy. I think you did. <laughs> to finish I, my I thoughts. Know. I also am tired, so I don't know. That's true. We're a mess. So, be, be proud of yourself and, and, and real talk. Prioritize yourself always, always, as much as you can. Don't be afraid to quit things. People have such a fear of failure and like what people are going to think. What if I quit? What if you don't? And you're unhappy. That's the worst possibility, that you are not happy and following your dreams. Obviously, circumstances allowing. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Yeah. She just did a deep sigh. I know. She was a good girl. She's the best. Good girl. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoy. Oh, she's on her a little back. She wants a chest rub. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy. Good day. Happy birthday. Bye. Bye, everybody. Listen to some Coco sounds. Deli she delivered. I was like, she really delivered. She was like, I got you, girl. <laughs>